Hey guys, Daniel Shaw here. Today I got a Glock 43. I uh, spent the day on the range with it, shot a little bit over 300 rounds, and as you would expect from any Glock, uh, it did pretty, pretty well for those 300 rounds. No issues whatsoever, no stoppages, no failures, nothing like that. Uh, I would expect that from a Glock, like I said, but you know, we're not really going to be able to tell the, the full story until it's got a few thousand rounds to it, which I'm sure I will do that uh, in a pretty short amount of time. The Glock 43, as most of you know by now, because they're all over YouTube and there's quite a few articles out there on it, was released at the NRA annual meetings and exhibits this year in 2015. It's a nine millimeter. Uh, we got a slim slide here, quite a bit smaller than your Glock 19, your 26. Uh, it actually uses the same sights as the Glock 42 which is a pretty cool feature of this gun. As it comes out, uh, your regular Glock sights are just not gonna fit the gun, but the Glock 42 sights fit the gun already. Uh, that as soon as it hit the market, there was sights out there. You can see this one that I'm actually borrowing from a friend. He's already replaced the sights on his gun. So for those that have a question of whether or not they actually do work, because I've been asked that question at least 100 times in the past few weeks, because I was at the Glock release party. Uh, yes, they fit, they work. This is it right here. Very, very slim grip. Uh, where, the night, where the Glock 42 was designed around the 380 cartridge, this is designed to make it the grip as small as it possibly can be on that 9mm cartridge. It's got a very, very short trigger reach. Just get in here in this gun, and I, with my regular man size hands, pretty large in most cases, um, I, I don't find it uncomfortable to have that short reach. My wife being about 120 pounds, she'll be mad at me for saying that, uh, five foot two. She enjoys shooting the Glock 43 quite a bit. And that short reach was able to allow her to get a nice clean press on that trigger. Speaking of the trigger, uh, it's, a, it's a normal Glock trigger. Basically what we have here is that short take up right there. A little bit uh, of a little spongy feel in that take up. You know, it's not a smooth, very light take up where some people like. Some people love this little bit more rigid or more stiff take up. Uh, you get back to that trigger and it does have a nice crisp wall there. Uh, I find it better than some of the other Glocks out there. Um, I would say it's, it probably has a cleaner break than my stock Glock 19 does. Uh, I don't know if that's by design or something they did different or just this particular gun that I picked up. Uh, I have no idea, but I like the clean break on this Glock 43. Glocks went with the, the Gen 4 style grip uh, you got your little bit larger protruding magazine release right there to be able to hit that uh, same slide stop that we have we see on every other glock out there obviously there's already aftermarket parts being made or coming out there uh, for this gun you come with a couple of magazines uh, for the gun here we've got one that's got a little extra spot for the pinky extension there uh, to get on the grip which is very nice uh, gripping the gun I can get my whole hand on that gun. Like I said before, I have pretty large size hands, but I'm able to get my whole hand on that grip with that smaller magazine, or that magazine with the extension. Can't quite get the pinky on the gun uh, with that with the flush fit magazine, but this is the magazine that I would I'd probably be carrying the most in the gun. Just the, the concealability of this gun. This it's designed around being able to conceal it, but still have that power of the nine millimeter. So this is the way I'm going to be carrying the gun with that magazine, that flush fit mag in the gun, and then that extended magazine will probably be in my pocket somewhere or somewhere where I can get to it quickly if I need that reload. Uh, potential of needing a reload may be pretty high with this gun because you've got one in the chamber and then six rounds in the magazine. It's a nine millimeter. The sacrifice you're making for having this gun this small is you know, lower magazine capacity with that slim frame pistol. Uh, I find that this gun is gonna be a very, very good gun for concealing. Uh, considering my small frame wife liked it, I think it'd be a good gun that she would carry. 
because uh, I think it's important to have a gun, one, that they're comfortable shooting, that man or woman, doesn't matter, uh, but also something light enough and comfortable enough that they would actually put it on their body or uh, if they choose to carry in the purse, if that's how they're going to carry the gun, then I'm just glad they're carrying a gun. We'll go with that. Uh, carry in the purse or carry off body. Um, I think the Glock 43 is going to be a winner when it comes to that because it's going to solve a variety of problems for a variety of different people. Uh, and you'll probably see me in the future in some things that I'm doing, carrying a Glock 43, not for a review, but because it's uh, a gun that I carry pretty often. Uh, I've got quite a few guns that I like to carry, and uh, I am now welcoming the Glock 43 into that group of uh, elite firearms that I trust. we need to shoot a few more rounds to do it to make sure that I really, really, really trust it. Um, and some more defense loads. Today we put about 30 spear gold dot through the gun. Uh, ran it all just fine. No trouble whatsoever. 